Welcome back to Ozarks Live. When you think of art, you automatically think of Tom Turton. Well, not really, but <laughs> somebody told him where to find some art. Any luck over there, Tom, where you are right now? You're at the Art Museum. You should find art. Yes, in, in my life, art generally refers to Carney or Garfunkel, right? But let me tell you, we have a gem in Springfield. You want to spend some time, you want to learn things, and I'm talking to everybody out there. I don't care how old or young you are. This is a great place to come. We're going to talk about a couple of the exhibits they have. I have Sarah Boer with me, and she's the curator here at the Springfield Art Museum. First of all, thanks for having us by. Absolutely. Thank Second you of all, I can't, I can't avoid this. Who's your friend? Ah, this is our sound suit by Nick Cave, and it's a pretty recent acquisition. We got it in 2019. Okay, now you say acquisition. This, uh, this that we're going to be looking at right now, this is ours. This is Springfield's Absolutely. Stuff. This is Springfield's art collection. It's yeah. owned by the city of Springfield, so city residents, this is your art collection. But if you've come here before, don't think that this is going to always be the same. This is not a one-and-done exhibit, even no. though it's ours. Right. I mean, we have over 10,000 objects in our collection. And so we try to rotate things in every three to four months so that you're seeing new pieces and the story changes every time we bring new work in. And so also you can see, you know, hopefully eventually all 10,000 of those pieces if you keep coming back. That's a good thing. But by then you may have 12,000 <laughs> We might. Pieces. We might. Let's walk a little bit as we okay. go so that people can kind of see what's around us. Now, this, this exhibit is, uh, I believe it's called Creating an American Identity, is yes. that correct? Yes. Okay, how, how do these pieces that, that you have in the gallery, how does that speak to that? Well, I mean, art history is history, right? Mm -hmm. Artists are depicting and painting and making art about what's happening right now. And so that's been true since the beginning of time. Okay. And so some of the pieces you'll see are maybe it's a self-portrait, which is maybe an easy way to show history, or maybe it's something like this, which is depicting the types of people who are living in the Southwest. Sure. Or a piece over here where it's dealing with America's involvement in Vietnam, but mm -hmm. from the artist's perspective. So all of the art in some way reflects our history because it's made by people living our history. Yeah, I mean, it, it is amazing because, you know, I've said this before, and it, it is very true. Different pieces of art will say, it will say something different to me than it does to you. And then you can look and see what the artist's interpretation was as right, well. Right, right. Well, we always joke that the artist may have an intent, but once, we, once it leaves their studio, they have no control over how the rest of us interpret it. Yeah. And so the beauty is you can get all kinds of different things from a piece, and mm -hmm. sometimes it matches up with the artist's intent, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's just something that connects with you personally. Absolutely, because you can look at some of the paintings and you go, oh, and, and it brings back... You, you know, maybe this was something that you saw like this, and it just, you get a flood of memory all of a sudden. Right. Or maybe yeah. it's just a bunch of color, and looking at all of that color relaxes your eyes, or yeah. it gives you a Or place, you have a visceral reaction to A visceral to what reaction, you're yeah. Absolutely. And another great thing about the museum is, of course, and this is a plus for me, walking around, you're taking your time, you're seeing these things, and you have places, benches, things like that. You can sit, you can relax, and you can just let the art kind of flow over you, Yes, too. you can take your time. Uh-huh. Absolutely. How, how popular has this exhibit been through the years, if you even gauge something like that? We, we try to. We don't have a lot of metrics, but I think it's been really popular, especially with school kids, because we've done hundreds of thousands of tours through mm -hmm. here. And we do have certain pieces that are always up that become people's favorites that they come back to visit over and over. Yeah. Um, I joke, but the piece behind us is our selfie piece. Everyone wants to take a selfie in front of this one. Yeah. So that's a way that we know is connecting with people if it constantly pops up on social media. Um, but it's definitely, there are, there are favorites that people have come back to see over and over Well, again. and speaking of media, when you come into the art museum, I think you can get a false idea that, oh, it's just going to be a bunch of paintings. But there are different media all around you at the time. Absolutely. I mean, we have sculptures, there's drawings, there's works on paper. There's, um, we even have a few sort of digital pieces that are on view sometimes. We passed a work in the back made out of blood. I mean, we have a lot of stuff. Okay. 
Now, you said something to me earlier. How far back in time do some of these pieces go? So the core of the collection is about the mid-18th century and mostly American art. We do have a few outliers that are older than that, but most of the collection is American art. That's it. Okay. Now, we've just looked at one of the exhibits here. When we come back to the art museum, we're going to look at, I would hazard a guess, it's one of the favorites. And it comes back year after year. It's always different. So don't go away because we'll be coming back to the art museum in just a little bit. Back to you guys. All right, good Thank stuff, you. Tom. Thanks. We're lucky to have the museum that we, we have. are. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Indeed. All right, mm -hmm. up next, a visit from the Humane Society, so you know it's going to be fun. We'll be right back with our Shelter Spotlight. <laughs> 